Welcome to the NAB 2022 Virtual Production Special. In this episode, we are going to focus on companies working on virtual production and virtual production products. Hi everyone, my name is Ramiro Montes de Oca, and this is the channel dedicated to virtual production and virtual production research and development. Like and subscribe for the latest news on virtual production and virtual production tools and tutorials. After almost three years since the last in-person show, although as expected, NAB didn't have the size of previous shows, but it doesn't mean that it wasn't huge. So let's start with the highlight of NAB 2022, that was the presence of Pew Studios in association with Mark Roberts Motion Control. They were all over the show celebrating the opening of the new Pew Studios virtual production set in Las Vegas. They host several parties to show off their new facility and who is who in the virtual production gear industry, with a lot of Mark Roberts motion control robots, different LED screens, motion impossible road cards, full automated stage with DMX lighting control from Unreal Engine, Moses tracking system covering the whole studio, and an impressive server farm running Unreal Engine on every LED screen. Although this was a private party, something that probably everyone saw from View Studios and Mark Roberts motion control was the motorcycle set that was set up in in the middle of the central hall. It was impossible to miss. Again, with my Royal Motion Control both robots, in this case providing the motion control and camera location with auto LED screens. And the first product that I want to talk about is probably the future of what build to production is going to be. And let me change my statement, is that maybe is a must for every virtual production set. And that is the synchronized dual screen feed for LED screens that I can give you camera A and camera B at the same time. But most important than that, it can also give you a single camera background with camera trackers with also a blue or green screen. So I was editing this. And on that demo, you have two feeds running at 60 frames per second each one of the feeds. So in total, it's 120 frames per second. That's what the LED was actually doing. And I started recording at 120. The problem is, it's not necessarily 120 what I was recording. It's supposed to be 120, but I think it's 119 point something something. You can see frame by frame. Now, if you have a perfectly shangwa, that's where you get the effect. Okay, let's go back to the video. This workflow gives you three solutions. The first solution gives you the ability to switch cameras on the same screen. The second solution is giving you tracking information to the tracking system. And the third solution is to give you a clean feed for damage control in case you don't like the shot and want to fix it post. This will become the new standard on volumetric LED shooting. Filmmakers always love alternative and this is a solution that gives you the perfect safe net. The way you do this is with Shenlock that provides two feeds, one for frame A and another Shenlock for frame B. Very impressive demo is how reflection doesn't affect the final result. This new way to do virtual production, it might become the industry standard. Next, let's talk about Moses which is the most advanced tracking system and probably the first system to get right. Their tracking is persistent and consistent. The only problem with this system is the pricing, but you really get what you pay for. Moses has multiple tracking solutions. They don't rely only on their optical tracking system. They also have pan and tilt head that provides tracking information for fixed positioning cameras, for stadiums for example, they're years ahead of the competition. And although I wasn't able to find any information of their new multicam solution, the two times that I went to the booth there was nobody that could explain this, but you can find videos online. Next, let's go to Stipe. Stipe has a great product line, Stipe Land and the render solution for Unreal Engine bringing depth of field, shadows and advanced lens features. It has an internal chroma key and it's the perfect all-in-one solution for virtual set in broadcast studios. They use their classic tracking system with red spy and an improved crane with complete new tracking reference system. In both cases, the tracking is very clean and precise. They also feature their new improved follower, a tracking solution for manipulating assets on the virtual space. It's a very creative way to manipulate digital elements in a very intuitive 
unique way. All of their demos were very clean and impressive. Another system with impressive demo is the OptiTrack tracking system. OptiTrack has a good record of body motion tracking. This system is optimized to the classic body motion tracking with multiple cameras. The technology is similar to Stipe and overall the pricing is also similar to Stipe. It has the advantage to be a versatile as a camera tracking or body motion tracking system. The new camera tracking device is very smooth and combines both the infrared tracking with IMU tracking. The combination of both makes the system a very robust tracking solution, with the same advantage of being both a camera tracking solution and a body motion tracking system. Another company that had a solid presence at NAP 2022 was Zero Density, demoing the latest features of their software suite for virtual production, Reality Engine. Many broadcasters around the globe use Zero Density to integrate Unreal Engine solutions to their broadcasting workflow. It has all the usual tools for green screen compositing, garbage mat, and graphic packages. The new addition is a tracker called Talent, but it's not a camera tracker, it's a talent tracker instead. It helps the graphic system to be aware of where the person is located and can place graphic elements on the virtual set without obstructing the talent on the set. Very simple to set up and the more you play with it, more application you might think about in the future. And the next tracking system is EasyTrack. It's the same system that brings you fist control and chain lock, compatible with the Steam lighthouses, but it also supports vibe tracker and anti latency. It has support for Canon, Panasonic, Sony, Fujinon, and they also have an encoder that allows you to use it on any lens. And also, they offer their own calibration software that you can buy it at a discount price of 999 euros. Their system is 15,000 euros. But again, it's not about the camera used to track, but all about the software. Another camera tracker has an excellent software integration, shown lock system with a stereoscopic camera, lowering their $17,000 to $5,000. The only caveat is that their software license costs $1,000 per month, but you even have the option to pay per day. It's something to think about. But all I can say is that their software is probably one of the most intuitive software in the market and many recovery systems like the use of April markers. And they're not going to tell you, but you can use the same markers on the LED screen if you need them. Now let's talk about the system that helps to generate markers for tracker systems. This system is called InvisiTrack, in the same way that the Brompton does it, with the channel lock interpolating frames with and without markers, and create the same process of placing markers in between frames, but this time with lasers. It's interesting that the same solution is not available to green screens. The laser markers distribution and shapes can be modified via an iPad app. And because it's a laser, you can cover big surfaces and small surfaces. For more information, go to invisipro.com slash invisitrack. Another tool that have evolved during the past 10 years is volumetric video. We have seen this technology evolve on many different ways, but now it got to the point where the applications are real. Arcturus has what they call Holosuite to generate volumetric videos that allows any virtual production to incorporate volumetric assets into your 3D scene. A good example is this holographic interactive display that tracks the view position. There is much more to this technology, check them out at Arcturus.studio. But without a doubt that volumetric tracking and volumetric capture is going to be a big part of the virtual production in the future. Right now, it's finding its way in sports. What you are watching right now is not the 3D simulation. This is the real volumetric capture with more than 100 cameras around the stadium. Again, this technology is not new, but this is the first time that we are watching real applications in the real world and not just what if scenarios. So pay close attention to this technology because we are going to start incorporating this into our virtual production sets. As a final editorial, let me talk about the supply chain crisis that is affecting the whole industry. This is a case-by-case -case situation, but honestly, it affects everyone. Doesn't matter how big or how small your company is. So my only advice is that if you need equipment and it's available, don't wait for the next patch because the next patch is never a guarantee. If you can buy anything that is available and you need it now, buy it. Don't wait. This used to be a scarcity tactic to make you buy stuff, but trust me, this is happening for real. The only upside is that whatever you buy today is not going to be devaluated for at least two years, because that is the time we expect the crisis to last, and two years is a very optimistic forecast. So try not to break stuff that you already have, it's my best advice. 
Okay, now I want to take a chance to thank everyone that makes the Unreal Ancient Beauty Production Facebook group. It's a great community and I'm glad that I had the chance to meet many of you in person. And I think that everyone will agree with me to extend the thanks to everyone working at Epic Games for being part of this amazing tool that you're building for us. Okay, this was my NAB 2022 show filter of virtual production. I hope you enjoyed this content and my point of view. If you were at NAB 2022, please leave a comment to let me know what else you saw that I missed. Join the Discord server where you can contact me directly or leave message on the server. A lot of people working on virtual production is part of this server. And like and subscribe if you didn't already. Hit the bell notification for future videos, all the stuff. Thank you and see you next time.